where we last left off was we had this fella here poking around doing things. Now, we were moving this army in to try and deal with him. Now, he obviously has got some attrition on him. But he's got a suitable amount of forces, but if we can actually intercept them, then we'll, they'll have one less army to worry about. Now, over here is this army. Now, I'm keeping this army at distance. Let's move him back a little bit just to make sure that he doesn't engage. Now, the reason why is because a full stack, I think a full stack army. Hmm. See, 500 militia, that's quite a substantial army. And I wouldn't be able to compete against them with that level of troops. Now, I am in the process of building up some of these fellas and then try and send them down to bolster that army. Now, the reason I want to do that, obviously, is I don't really want to go charging into battle with the French, who I am currently at war with, without at least some chance of winning. Now, obviously, these guys have got more of a chance than those guys, and it's an opportunity to take out one of their five-star generals, which is an opportunity I should not miss. Now, these guys, I want a full-stack army before such times as I do anything else and attack that particular area. Munich in Bavaria. So, let's just check. You can see they can only recruit militia there. What can we recruit here? We can't recruit anything, but we could recruit German Fusiliers. So, our first point of call will be there. That's what we're going to go for. These guy, this guy here is moving to Bavaria to try and influence it, or at least infiltrate it. So he's going to move in towards that location. Now, down here, you can see we've got Zagreb in Croatia. And we do have the Ottoman Empire at peace, but what I need to do is kind of build up the forces a little bit here, which I'm in the process of doing. But we do have the Russians sniffing around, which I'm allied with, but I don't like the fact that they're sniffing around my territory. It makes me nervous. However, you can see now, obviously, Prague and Bohemia have a suitable sized army. Not massive, but suitably sized. And obviously, we want to try and deal with the Swiss Confederation as they are pushing down from here. Deal with the Italians, wipe them out as a faction, and then try and take Torino. Anything we can do to take Torino means that we will kind of establish the Austrian Empire in this section, which is a good thing in my opinion. So let's move on to the next turn and see how things progress, shall we? So a smallish stack army is sneaking around behind. Okay, that could be a problem. So there's the French Navy. Let me guess, he's got reinforcements, that's why. So he's got 2,900 and he's got those reinforcements there. Now we could move back, but he has no general. This could be an opportunity. Let's give it a go, shall we? The thing is, we've got to try and fight smart. He has no artillery. He has Swiss line infantry, militia, fusiliers, but some cavalry. We have more cavalry than he does, generally, and general fusiliers of the line. So hopefully we've also got the Jaegers which can, with any luck, do some damage. Let's see how we get on. So there's the layout of the map. Okay, so this is a rather interesting layout. Now, what I'm wondering is if I move the artillery here, and unlimber them. 
What kind of range will that give me? Can I hit them? Yes, I can. Okay. So that's a good sign. So, we'll have the Grenadier Regiment will defend the artillery. Now, Jaegers will be in light infantry mode. These guys here. So what we'll do is we shall spread them out into a nice grouping. And then behind them, we shall put three, three lines of troops. Like so, maybe? We'll see. Let's have a look. So if we spread them out like that, and then take the the Jaegers and spread them out as well. So they can only be spread out like that. And we'll make them number two. That will be number one. Now, you've got those guys there. And then we'll have these guys here move up from there. Now, over here we have the Lancers and the Regiment of Horse. So those guys are okay. What about these guys? So the first Lancers and Regiment of Horse. So we'll put Lancers there for the time being and we'll put the Regiment of Horse over on the far right. The other Regiment of Horse will have covering the right flank and move up on them. So, let's see how we get on, shall we? Knew it. Okay, so, let us move commanding officer forward. And move those guys to cover the rear. Right, so let's move these guys forward. Like so. Now how many troops are coming from there? Sections of cav. Chasseurs, so they all have rifles. So let's see, get those two guys, yeah, where are these? These guys will defend like so. Let's move these guys down a little bit onto the plains. Staff. Let's move those up. Move the lancers back and over here. Here we go. It's all kicking off. Square. Square two. mainly cavalry that's coming in at the moment. They're probably going to try and rearrange or reposition. Yeah, we've got another section of them coming in. Bring my other cav over. Square formation, those guys. Boys, boys, lovely work. 
send my other cavalier or other uh, ca um, guys in. Send these guys in to finish them off. What's that Irish Legion moving in? So let's see what we can do. Send in some lancers. Just go away then, if you can't do your bloody job right, go away. Lancers in on that lot. There we go, chase them away, move back Lancers. These guys and these guys can come out of square. And can form a barricade against the enemy. Now what's going on over here? Let's move these guys this way a bit. There we go. That's continuing to fire at them. That's what we're after. Hurry up, fellas. Shoot back at them. There we go. Broken. Let's find out what's going on over here. Right, let's move these guys in a bit closer. Let's move these guys in just to flank very slightly. How close are they coming? Right. Say hello, Lancers. Right, time to break up their grouping. Move those guys over there. Move these guys up a bit. No, nope, like that. And then these guys up a bit like so. Oh, hello. engaging them. What's going on over here? Good. Let's get them out for the moment. Move them there. Attack those with that. in. Come on lads, run. Bring these guys in from the rear. Oh, 
with these guys here, yep. Swiss infantry. Yeah, they're not looking good. That's not looking good on that side. Ah, damn it. Get those guys in to assassinate and murder as many of them as we possibly can. Why are you guys coming out of square? You're supposed to stay in square. Let's get the soldiers... Actually, no, let's get the soldiers into that lot. Let's move those lancers away. Okay, let's turn these guys around. Unlimber. Right, they should all... Yes, they are. Excellent. Right, fellas, it's time to turn around and deal with the enemy on our rear. Right, in comes the reinforcements. The cannon should be able to turn around. Hmm. These guys, Regiment of Foot Swiss, Regiment Etranger. Let's get them out of the way. Let's get the Jaegers back. Let's get the Jaegers there. So, you guys need to run. Sorry, fellas. I need you there. Oh, God. Just deal with that lot. So, let's turn them round, have them facing that way. How are these guys doing? It's, oh, no wonder they're problems. Let's send them in to go and have a little bit of a chew on those fellas. How are my guys looking ammo-wise? Yeah, they're looking alright. So let's move these guys up here on that flank. Move these guys back and take those out. Got to take out that general. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm limber. Let's move them over to there. How are the Jaegers getting on? Lancers over there as well. Kill that general. Good, they're broken. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, 
Yes, well done, lads. Come back and attack them. Okay. All right, lads. Let's move you back. in on the flank. Run fellas, run. Our men are running for Not you, you fools. Damn it, all the bloody Jaegers. These guys are supposed to be moving. Guys in. How many's there? 212 of them. Good. Enemy general dead. Good. As indeed he should be. Let's go in. Get them, lads. Charging in. Hello, boys. Can under limber you because we don't need to use so much anymore. Let's send some horses after that lot. Well, that certainly turned out a lot better than I expected it to be. Which is something of a pleasant surprise. <sighs> Considering the bastards tried to ambush me. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. So there we go. We pretty much butchered his army. We killed his general. They lost 3,800. And, here we go. I've got to admit, they're ambitious. If not a little stupid. Let's see. Okay, so, what I'm thinking is I want to put my cannons up here because they have reasonably good visibility so we'll unlimber them so let's see we have a combination of them so what I might do is put them into that mode and then have grenadiers And fusiliers with them. Put them in as actually number two. That is number one. And then the rest of the troops behind. Now, over on the right side, we have the Hargarian Hussars. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. And over on the left, we have another detachment. And there, is our general so we will keep him we'll keep him here 
there we go. So, let's see what kind of situation we're in. Get them to engage the artillery immediately. So yeah, they've got two lines. There we go. Doing damage to them already. And these guys can now move forward. So let's get them moving forward. So what we try and continue to do is neutralize their artillery. Now some of the line at the rear here is still taking fire. So we're gonna move, whoops, no we're not. We're gonna move these guys up as well to act as additional support. What we're going to do is that guy move up there, and that guy can move up there. Because then we can jump the commander who's probably in there somewhere. Oh no, he could be there. That pot shots at the commander, shall we? are going to be in cover so let's engage them with the RT for the now while the cavalry moves up so they hopefully can jump these guys from the rear deal with that lot deal with that and then deal with this guy the guys are taking the battering unfortunately let's see let's move in Let's get a flank going. Right, lads, get in there quick. We focus the arty on the commander. Move these guys down to that little dip there. Sorry, Jaegers. In come the rest. Here we go. It's all kicking off now, boys and girls. Get him. Get him now. Go for the RT, I should say. These guys can go for the commanding officer. Come on, break, break, break. 
glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Go for those guys, keep them off guard. Those guys should get a fire over the top of their heads. Losing slightly. Excellent. Don't worry about the general, just worry about the chevals. Okay, yep, they're pretty much dead. Look at all that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Almost the entire line wiped out. Let's chase them down. Because they're not breaking anymore. Charge him. Oh well, hello. Okay, you guys can unlimber because I don't want you firing at anyone anymore. Them fellas, come on. Let's right, send these guys back over here. Come on, lads, extract yourself. Then what we can do is Our men are running for us. Right, time to move up the forces over to the top of the hill. Come on, get close enough for some bullets. Fire! Thank you. There we go. Well, we pretty much killed everybody in the army, including their general. So that's really good news as far as I'm concerned, because we've dealt with that army near Bavaria. And we've dealt with that army that was in the valley. In the valley. Um, and so, hmm. 
I wonder if Russia's going for Italy. I'm thinking maybe I need to get there first. Because if Russia get a foothold in Italy, that could cause me a problem because they are allied. So the Bat Batavian Republic, and now the Ottomans are on the move. Hmm. Here we go. So I have an agent recruited in Galicia, which is good. And as you can see, plenty of... bits and bobs going on so we can finish off that army hopefully but I'm thinking that I'll need to task this army to attack them but we'll find out in next week's Napoleon Total War thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time